And then we have, uh, I bought this, I had the American release of Alligator, but I really wanted Alligator 2, got it from the UK. It's an anchor bay of Alligator 1 and 2, bone 2 disc. Alligator 2 is fun, it has Richard Lynch again. I haven't watched Alligator 2 in forever, but Alligator 1 I would really recommend. It's really fun. Then we have one that I think DVD Fiend did a review for a long time ago called Granny from the UK. This is uh, a UK release, I'm not sure if it's a UK movie, but I heard this movie is uh, pretty cool, so I grabbed it. Killer Granny, can you beat that? Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Anybody seen this, let me know. Then here we have uh, one that I've always wanted to see, Santa Sangre. Uh, it is the two disc edition from the guy who did El Topo, or El Topo. Uh, it's supposed to be a crazy bizarre film. Uh, it's a little thin disc thing, but it comes with two discs. You can pick it up on eBay for about 20 bucks, so that's what I did. I guess it's three and free, so. Hopefully I'll enjoy that one. This one, I also have another edition of this coming, but uh, this is the new release from uh, UK of the Incredible Melting Man. I heard the quality is actually, I don't know, it, the quality of the company is not too high, so I'm not sure, but it was really cheap. That's the Incredible Melting Man from uh, the UK. I'm waiting on my other edition coming from Electro City, so. That's Incredible Melting Man, really cheesy, fun, throwback type deal. Then we got uh, the UK Anchor Bay edition of Razorback, which is pretty decent, uh, giant animal killer flick made from Australia. Uh, it's pretty decent. Uh, it's got some cool scenes, uh, crazy monster effects. Pretty decent. I would recommend this one for review, Razorback. And then we got one that I've always wanted to see. It's probably going to get an American release soon, re-release, but uh, Roger Corman from the UK, the Unborn DVD. Because I have Unborn 2. This one has James Caron in it. Roger Corman produced. This is the UK edition of the Unborn from Roger Corman. Uh, I really uh, do enjoy a lot of these new Concord type deals, so I grabbed this one. Then we have uh, one from the UK again, The Awakening, which has uh, Charlton Heston in it. Uh, this is a UK edition of it. It's not a UK movie, I don't believe. Uh, Charlton Heston in a mummy movie. Uh, how can you pass that up? I don't think America has a release, but I figured it'd be cool to see him. Ancient Egypt in it. Egyptian in it. Oh. <laughs> this I picked up from Cult Epics. It is the Cinema of Death. I picked it up for the reason that it has the short film Pig on there which is uh, one I've wanted to see because it has an infamous story to it. That is Pig. That is Cinema of Death. Which, uh, hopefully I'm looking forward to. It also comes with the shorts uh, on there. It comes Hollywood, Babylon, a couple others. It comes with five shorts. So, well worth the price. This one, I, I'm not sure. I haven't heard too much about it. Babysitter Wanted. I guess it's supposedly like House of the Devil, but uh, we'll find out. I have not watched it. Again, Wicked Vicious Cycle Films. And then we have uh, Blood on Satan's Claws, which is a UK release, remastered. Uh, this is a pretty cool flick, witch hunting type deal. I think the back actually has nudity. I did a review for this one. I uh, actually would probably recommend this one because it's a pretty fun flick old school vintage British horror. And then we have one that's pretty cool here that uh, this is the two disc edition of uh, Pig Fucking Movie. I have not watched it yet, but uh, it looks really nice. It cost, it was pretty expensive to be honest. This is one of those infamous titles, you know, it's just supposed to be insane. So I had to get it along with Pig and a couple others. That's Pig Fucking Movie. Let me know how that is. And then this one, uh, it looks like these are old releases that were just like picked up and released on budget releases, but Big Lots came. It was uh, Palindrones, which I wanted to see. The same director of Happiness. It was really cheap. Three bucks, and I got Palindrones. Uh, this one, three movies in it. but And then this one, which I really don't care about either, The Beat, that, made, that my heart skipped. But really, I got it for Palindrones. A, a dollar for it, basically, which is a great price, even if it is a budget release. And then another cool one is Sam Hain, which uh, was sent to me by Mizpool just for free, which is awesome. Miz, if you need anything, let me know. You're you're a great guy, and uh, appreciate it. I never even heard of this movie, but it stars two porn stars. It's got some nudity on the back, and I guess it's just super violent. And this is a rough cut work print, never been released. So uh, I'm kind of uh, not sure what to expect out of it. But thanks a lot, man. I'll get on it and watch it. And then uh, right here I have some small 
these are sent to me for free from Revenge Horror with the edition with DVDs I ordered. Prison, which I already have the uh, UK release of it, which is a really cool prison flick. Uh, he also sent The Begotten, which I need to watch still. I guess this movie is insane as well. And uh, this is Horror, which I guess is like a documentary type deal. Looks fun. And finally, Tear at on the Beach, which looks like some uh, old 70s type horror film. And then for the non-horror movies, I grabbed some as well. Now how can I buy some? You know, I had uh, the old edition of Half Baked, but I picked up the uh, fully baked edition because this movie's funny. And I think there's actually a couple scenes that were deleted, 10 outrageous deleted scenes that I'd like to see. Funny movie. I mean, stupid humor, but what do you want? This one I actually never got to watch. It is Raging Bull. I think it's a two disc. Uh, I love Scorsese, I love De Niro, I love Pesci, I love Casino, Goodfellas, Taxi Driver, all that stuff. But Raging Bull is one that just passed me. So, Of course, De Niro plays Jake LaMotta. This one I always wanted to see because I saw the commercial, Mother Nights, all that big lots, three bucks. Nick Nolte, I think John Goodman's in it as well. So I grabbed it, three bucks. He goes undercover as a Nazi and stuff goes wrong. And we have The Outsider, two discs. I grabbed it, it's been a long time since I've seen this one. For five bucks, why not? It's been a long time. I remember it being a pretty decent movie. This one I grabbed because it was the French-Canadian release that came with an extra disc. Sky Captain in the World of Tomorrow. Uh, haven't watched this one, but uh, a good friend of mine likes it a lot. So, And this one, which is a favorite of mine, uh, this is the extended cut of Stripes. I love Stripes. John Candy in this movie is the best. They should call you that dork. Well, sir, he's just awesome. I love John Candy, and I lo love this movie. love Bill Murray. love John Candy in it. It's a great film for comedy. Then we got The Taking of Pelham, 1, 2, 3, the original. Uh, Quentin Tarantino actually got, I guess, the idea of using colors from this movie. Because they're like gray, green. Uh, so I wanted to check it out about an old school train heist. This is the original. I have not seen it. It's got Robert Shaw in it, Walter Matthau, Martin Balsam, and Hector Elizondo. Good cast. And then finally, even to me... I haven't seen this movie since I was a kid, so I, I remember seeing the second one when I was like 18, and I thought it was atrocious, but I think I remember the first one actually being pretty decent, so Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so I haven't watched that forever. Plus, I love Casey Jones, so there we go. That was my update. It'll probably be in three or four parts or something like that, but thank you for watching. Sorry about that pause in the middle, and uh, hopefully I got them all in shot pretty well, better than me sitting there. Have a good one. Bye.